Now what I want to do is to go ahead and start working on the controller so that we can start putting all of this stuff together. So I'm going to open my files again and go back to the source. And then in the source, I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call it controller. So we're going to do controller and then press enter. So you can see that controller folder doesn't have anything in it. So I'm going to create another file. So I'm going to do patient that controller that js by the way you can come up with your own naming convention i'm using this naming convention I, I guess it's fine but you can use your own naming convention so if you want to just keep your folders very organized in for example instead of patient that controller that js you just have patient that js then that's fine as well so you don't have to stick with this naming convention i'm just using it for now so i'm gonna press enter and then now you can see that we have this patient controller if i make this a little bigger you can see we have the patient controller.js file. Now we're going to start working on this file. So I'm going to press enter on this file and then make this full screen. So the first thing we need to do is to import some stuff. So I'm going to do import and I'm going to call this database and we're going to get it from our database configuration. So here I'm going to go outside and then go to config and then we want the MySQL config.js. And then I need to import the response because every time we're going to send a response back to the front end, we're going to send it with the response class that we created. So we're going to say response. And this is supposed to come from, again, back out one folder. And then we're going to go to domain. And then that's supposed to be response.js. And then we need to get the logger. So import logger. And that's also going to come from our util folder. So here we're going to go back out one, go to util. And then we need to grab the login.js. And then the last thing we need is our queries. So we're going to say import and I'm going to import it as query. So capital query. And then we need to get this from again, back out one folder. And then we want to go to the query folder and then the patient query .js. All right. Um, another thing I want to do is to define the HTTP status. When I'm going to be creating all these functions on the controller, I'm going to be sending response back to the front end or to the caller of the application. And if you remember, let me see if I can go inside of the index file. So you remember when we were passing in those values. So if I go to 200, you can see that we're passing in 200 here, which is hard coded. And then we pass in the OK, which is also hard coded. So I don't want to keep doing that. So let's go back to the controller. So controller and let's do uh, const and we're going to call this HTTP status. OK, so that's going to be the object that we're going to create. We could create it in a separate file, but I'm just going to put it in here for now. And then in here, what I want to do is to define OK. And OK is going to be an object. So I'm going to do open and close curly braces. And I want to go inside of that object. And then we're going to pass in a code. And that's going to have the value of 200. So the 200 status code. And then it's going to have a status, which is going to be the OK string. So here I'm going to pass in OK. And you can already see where this is going. So we're going to define our HTTP status. And then whenever we need to pass in some status, we're going to call this object and then use either the OK or created or new content or bad request or internal server error or whatever we define here. So again, I'm going to copy this line and then this is going to be created. So I'm going to do uppercase created and the code for that is I think it's 204. So I can just increase this number. 204 actually it's 201 so i'm going to decrease it so 201 and this is supposed to be created so we're going to change this again to created so created and then save now let's go over to the next line and let's do no content so i'm going to change this to no content so no underscore content and i think the code for this is 204 so i'm going to increase this number again so 204 and the set is going to be the same so i'm going to go back and just copy this. So copy all this stuff and then go over here and then paste it and then delete the OK. Let's go back down and we want to do the bad request. So we're going to say bad underscore request. And the status for this is 400, I think. So I'm just going to replace the 2 to a 4 because I don't want to keep increasing this. So we're going to change this to a 4. And then the status is going to be the same. So I'm going to go back, copy this again, and go over to the OK, and then paste that in there, and then remove these two. And you can see because I'm using Vim, this is actually really, really convenient. You can see that I'm not going into insert mode. So I'm not really typing in what I want to change. I'm just copying and pasting stuff and deleting stuff and changing stuff and increasing and decreasing increasing numbers without even going into insert mode. And you don't know what I mean by insert mode. It's because right now, if I type on my, well, I went into insert mode by accident. So I'm going to undo that. So if I'm typing, for example, right now I'm pressing D and I delete this line. 
and I can undo this by pressing U, the line comes back. And what I mean by insert mode is you can't type and then, you know, have text into a text editor or something unless you go into insert mode. But Vim has a very large number of commands that you can use to make them do things. And those are the commands that I've been using without going into insert mode to copy and paste stuff. So that's just a little bit about Vim. So let's do the next one. So the next one I want to do is not found because this is also a very popular one. So we're going to change this to not found. As you can see right now, I'm in insert mode. So you can see at the bottom, it says insert. So not found, get out of insert mode, go to the beginning, copy the word. And the not found is 404. So I'm going to change this to a four, go over to the zero, also change the zero to a four. I'm just using the Vim command and I can increase this number. I can decrease it. So Vim is really awesome. I would highly encourage you to give it a try. And then we're going to change this to the same name. So I'm going to paste this thing here and then remove these two. And the last one th that I want to do is the internal server error because this is a very generic one. So we're going to delete this and then we're going to say internal underscore server underscore error. So that's the actual name. Like I'm not making this up. This is the actual string that you get when you get a 500. It's internal server error. And then I'm going to copy this again. So select everything, copy and then go over here. I think this is a 500, so I can increase this. So I can do to a, well, not increase. I can actually replace this and then go over here and then paste and then remove the OK and then save. So now since we're going to be using this inside of the other files, for example, inside of the index file, we can also export it as well. So I'm going to do export default and then we want to export the HTTP status. We're just exporting this so that we can use it in other places. So now at the bottom here, we're going to start adding all of our controller functions. And that's where we're going to be dealing with all the processing of the request, reaching out to the database, updating stuff, deleting stuff, inserting stuff, and then sending responses back to the front end. But before I do that, let's see if we can use this HTTP status inside of the index file. So I'm going to see if I can open the index file. And in here now, I need to import this. So I'm going to go down here and say import. And we need to import the HTTP status. So HTTP status. Oops, HTTP status. And this is supposed to come from that forward slash controller. So controller forward slash patient. And then close that and then save. Now I can go down here and then instead of the 200, as you can see here, we're going to change this to using our HTTP status. So let's go back. I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to do HTTP status. I want to access the OK property. So I'm going to do that. You can see they're all coming up here. So I need the OK and I need to get the code. You can see the code is a number, so I'm going to say code. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us the 200 code from the HTTP status. And then here, what we're going to pass in instead of the OK, we're just going to pass in the actual status because the status is a string. So let's go back one more time so that you guys can see this. So controller, you see here we have the OK. So this is an object, right? A regular JavaScript object. We have the OK, which is a property on the object, and it's also an object itself. So we can go inside of the OK and then access the code in the status. So let's go back again, go back into the index, and let's go forward to the OK. And then here, uh, actually, I need to copy all this. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of this word, copy all this word. So copy and then go to the OK and then paste it. And then now I can just go ahead and remove all this stuff and remove this and we need to get the status. So I'm going to change this to status and then save. So you can see now this is a lot cleaner because it's more expressive. We can actually look at this response and we're saying, OK, we're sending an HTTP status OK code in an HTTP status OK status. And we can name this something else like the status is a little bit repetitive here. So if you don't want to use the word status because the object name is already HTTP status, then you can change that. But I'm fine with it the way it is right now. So save all that. Let's go back to our controller. So controller. And then now we're going to start working here on the controller functions.